Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of Rex Rocket. So, you may notice that my lives are not the same as they were last time we were here. That's because I tried this next section again and lost all of my lives again, so we're gonna try it again on camera now, since I didn't bother keeping the last video because it was 10 minutes of me failing a section over and over again. And uh, since I made it back here again, let's try again with the 15 lives we have now, including the 0, zero life. So, can we make it through this most fiendish of platforming sections? Who knows? I really don't like that it's time, uh, not time limited. The salt is real right now. I'm definitely very much not having fun with this part of the game. I like most of it, but this is not okay. Even the boss levels are the kind of difficulty that I can get behind. Because at least they are difficult in a way that punishes your own mistakes, but it's like you could have learned the patterns better, you could have done something about it to make yourself not be so bad at it. Whereas this is literally just, you come across something you haven't discovered before, and because you don't know what it is, it kills you when you get to it because you don't know how to deal with it. And it's a time section, so it's not like they can even blame you for rushing when you shouldn't have. Now this- oh, you're so close! That was almost a success there in our first try, which would have been really nice. Let's try this again and see if we can get through this thing sometime today. So, let's see if we can get through here. I'm definitely, definitely getting frustrated with this section of the game. This is going to be my last time trying it today. Otherwise, I will be leaving this game alone for a bit and then coming back later. Because as much as I enjoy the exploration and the finding of interesting things, this irritatingly designed rush segment through insta-death platforming is not my cup of tea. So, let's go a little bit further here and see what's up, see if we can actually make it through here sometime today. Because that would be really nice if we could. Let's see if the game's gonna let us. Oh, almost killed us there for no good reason. Let's see if we can charge up a shot to make it across there. Charge up another one to make it across here. And another one to make it across here. And another one to make it into here. Alright, we made it past that section. That's good. Okay. Well, that's good, because I've wasted probably 30 lives trying to get through there today, so I'm glad that that's over with. That was pretty infuriating. Let's get down here and kill some robots and some bats and see if we can maybe get through the rest of this today. Looks like we want to go up on that side, but let's come across here first, kill some more bats. I want to go over to that right-hand side and see if there's anything up there. I'm guessing there is. Yeah, there's a door over there. So let's get down over there in a second and see what's over there. But first... I'm gonna grab this... and that, and back up. Cannonbots! Shoots heavy spherical projectiles at a target in an arc path. Used by smaller ships to break apart space debris, blocking routes, and for playing games of asteroid bowling. Alright, whatever. Let's get our way across here and see what's hiding in this room. Oh, this looks friendly. On the plus side, we know we can destroy this guy, so we don't have to worry too much about him. Whoop! Does this go anywhere? It does. It goes to the other side. This doesn't look very friendly, though. Whoop! Nope, nope, not friendly at all. You know what? I'm not gonna try and go this way. This just looks like a way to die repeatedly, so let's come back over here and see... Come on, game! Let's come back over here and see if there's maybe a way that we can actually get through here more successfully. Tank our way through there nicely. There we go. What's on this side? This looks a little bit more doable. These guys look nasty, but they're not invincible like I thought they were, which makes it a lot more reasonable. They are pretty tough, though. Okay. Blast our way past these defenses. Are they getting spawned from somewhere? It seems as though they are. Since there's a heck of a lot of them. Let's make our way over there, though, and see what we can actually find out about that. What are you doing in the wall there? Well, thanks for telling me it was a secret game. Otherwise, I would not have known. Alright, we got ourselves a health expansion from inside that secret wall. Now we've actually started to find some of these. It's kind of nice. Because the game told me and kept telling me about them, but I couldn't find any. We might go back later and go back to some of the earlier areas and see if we can find them. Now this looks like it should connect to something we should know about because it has that one-way doorway, but I don't know if it does. Wait till he drops down a little bit, then blast him. And we gotta have to... Oop! Die. Oh, we just did not die there by a tiny margin. Alright, we can go into the vents here, it looks like. No, this is where we're supposed to go. Alright, so let's not go that way. Although we should activate this uh, Rebuild-a-tron, otherwise we're gonna 
suffer some fairly unpleasant consequences, I suspect. Let's come over this way first. What's in this side? Another one-way door we can't get through, which has boots. That looks really nice. Alright, if there's a, some kind of super jump ability, I want it so bad. Let's get down here and see what's in this area. Oh, good. Imminent death is in this area. And we just plummet right into the acid. How on earth are you supposed to get across there? Maybe with the boots? I don't know. This definitely doesn't look like something we're supposed to be dealing with right now, though, because... It's got a whole lot of... Like, I'm not sure how you're supposed to travel across this part. And we're dead again. Like, how do you, how do you move that bottom uh, platform across? I don't even think you can. I'm afraid of losing all my lives now and having to do that stinking laser run segment again. So we're just going to keep moving and hopefully not get murdered here, because otherwise... I'll be very... Oh, and we bounced off that guy to our death. Cool. I to say a very unhappy camper, but... We're dead anyway, so whatever. Maybe we should just press forward and hopefully find a uh, Rebuildatron. You can lock them in place, so that's handy. Not what we're trying to do, though. I kind of want to come up here so we can see if we can find anything, but I'm not sure if we actually can from that position. I think we have to let him rise up, then lock him into a raised position. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to get high enough. And this guy's going to shoot us into the wall here, isn't he? Alright, so... Raise up. And now we lock him into position. Oh, that guy got a bit higher than I would have liked. We made it up to him, that's the important thing. And up we go. Keep him in place. Ah, just missed that one. I want to try and get up to the top here, just in case there's another exit we miss, which has anything good in it. It looks like it's actually just... Oh, we're going down. We're dead. It looks like it's just that doorway, though, so there's nothing interesting up there. No, there is a doorway at the very top. Cool. That makes me extra annoyed that I just died inches from the very top. Alright, let's get all the way back up there then and see if we can maybe not die this time, because that would be cool. And got hit by the platform we're standing on, so I wasn't paying attention to it. In case you couldn't tell, I'm getting a bit mad at this game, and I should probably stop playing it now. The, uh, the ways in which it likes to toy with you are quite infuriating. So we'll stop that from moving, make our way up here, get him to go up, freeze him again, keep working our way up this hill. Okay. Now there's a robot coming from above, which means I have to be very careful, otherwise the one I'm standing on is going to kill me. There we go. Freeze him again. And we go up. Freeze it. Get back down here. I need to climb on you. There we go. Up we go. Freeze him again. Come on over here. Cool. We froze him again. Keep going up. One of these days we'll get to the tippy top here. I don't see a doorway up there. That makes me very uncomfortable. That might just be a uh, hidden passage that we haven't found yet. So let's work our way up there again and see if we can actually find it. Because the game told me there was something up there. Is there? There is. There's a secret passage here, which has a health expansion in it, so that's cool. It also has what looks like a whole lot of death. I don't know if I can even go down there. I don't know if we can stand on that. Oop. Oh, I see. That's what we have to do. Spam a whole bunch of bullets all the way around. There we go. That's cool. Alright, so let's activate this. We got ourselves a health expansion. That was pretty neat. Let's make sure we don't get instantly toasted to death by this thing. So that's also interesting, because that was definitely a secret room, but it showed up as having a doorway on the map. So those secret panels seem to have a very inconsistent representation in the game. Sometimes they show up, and that's a spike there, oops. And sometimes they don't. Now we have it though, so we should be able to just go across. So, let's work our way across this way, into this new tunnel we're supposed to go into, because I don't think we're supposed to go to that shoes place yet. What is this all about though? Ah, this is the official introduction of these moving panels. Interestingly enough, it seemed to blow him up from below, which doesn't make much sense. I don't know what happened there. If we throw a grenade down there, is it going to kill that one now? Doesn't seem to. Alright, not sure quite what's going on here, but let's keep going without getting killed by these laser bots. There we go, and onwards we go. 
Uh oh. There we go. Onwards we go. We're looking good so far, making our way through here without getting killed. Which is always an admirable thing. Oh, and we're dead. Never mind. Stopped for a split second there to throw a grenade, which means we are dead. Okay. Don't stop moving is the lesson of the day. Don't ever let these platforms stop moving, or have yourself stop moving, otherwise you will die. Let's go, go, go then. Let's keep moving, Rex Rocket. We've learned we can't stand still here. Keep boogieing. Thankfully, all the doors and things stay open, which makes things a little bit easier to stay alive with. There's just no opportunity to stand still. We probably would have been safe if we just jumped up on the ledge first, but since I didn't, we got killed. So let's go up on the ledge first. Now we drop this. There you go. That worked out much better. Oops. I to drop it. There we go. Now we're through. Keep going there, Rex. Keep going. Alright, you made it, Rex. And it looks like we're time for a boss fight. Commando bot. An armored fighting machine designed to be portable enough for most ships while still packing the firepower capable of leveling a city. Boasting state-of-the-art missile launching technology, worries of space pirate attacks are a thing of the past with one of these on your side. Unless they have one, too. Alright, well there's some health back, and a rebuild the Tron activated, so we have eight tries, I guess, at this boss. Probably not going to be enough, but uh, hopefully it will be, because I really don't want to have to go back and redo all that again. But we're just going to move on and see what we can do here. Hopefully we didn't need the boots. Because we didn't get them. Actually, this is a great opportunity to try out our boomerang against them, see if it actually does damage. Rex Rocket, fancy meeting you here. Actually, I planned for you to follow Commando Bot down here, so not really. That's right, this whole thing was a trap. Psych! I don't really want to blow up the entire ship. I just want to know that you'll be blasted into stardust. And when I'm done with you, I'm gonna pay your little friends a visit. So long, Rex. It was nice knowing you. Again, not really. Yes, let's fight. Engaging protocol. Beat on Rex. Alright. Alright, this does literally nothing to him. Lots of grenades, too. Holy cow. Alright. The fireworks are real right now. Jeez. Noticing, though, we cannot use using that thing. We're dead. We're still changing our gun. Boomerang seems absolutely useless. Okay, let's try this again without getting horribly murdered instantly. That was a little bit intense. Here we go. Dodge the grenades that are coming from above. Doesn't look like it's actually too hard if you're careful where you stand. He's big on laser beams. And more grenades when he's out of range. And rockets. Rex rockets, perhaps? Ow! Really irritatingly aimed rockets. Out of the way. Can you shoot the rockets? No, you cannot shoot the rockets, but he can shoot you with the rockets. We're very low on health already. Gotta keep blasting them. Out of ammo for the boss, alright. Keep using the normal guns then, that's all we got. Ow, forgot to move there. Not a great tactic. Here comes more missiles. Nope, more grenades. Okay, well, we can dodge the grenades relatively easily. It's the missiles that are vicious. Because they speed up and they're so hard to avoid. Alright, we'll have to figure out a better tactic for avoiding those missiles. I'm guessing wall jumping is the way to do it. Because that way you're not in a consistent position, so there's a hard time tracking you. Let's get in here, though, and try this out. Skip through all the dialogue again. Oh, he starts with the missiles now. Well, that's not good. Ow, hit me anyway. Alright, well that hurt. Not a great start to this whole thing, but whatever. Get over here. Fire some shots, let our weapons recharge now. Avoid the lasers if we can, which apparently we can't because I'm really terrible at this game. Okay, more grenades coming, yep. That's fine, except I then immediately got hit again. Alright, we're just going to commit suicide here because there's no way I can take him down that much health from there. Hello everyone, the Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to a little bit more Rex Rocket. This is the same episode as previously, but unfortunately I had to cut some of that episode because uh, things were getting a little bit heated. So, we're back again, we have 16 more lives to try against this boss. 
And uh, we're gonna see how it goes. This is hopefully going to go a little bit better than previously. This boss is pretty darn nasty. And uh, I've been having a heck of a hard time fighting him. But we're back again, so let's do this thing. Skip through all this, because we've seen this before, and let's see what happens. Now, these missiles are still pretty darn difficult to take out, and I get the feeling that the best way for us to deal with this boss is to figure out how to avoid most of these projectiles quickly. If we can spend our time learning these patterns, much better than this, because that was terrible for our in initial uh, round of combat here. If we can spend a bit of time learning these uh, patterns, it'll be a lot easier for us to actually figure out. So let's get in there again and see if we can actually get this to work a little bit more in our favor. We've got plenty of lives left. So let's deal with this sucker. So we move forward a little bit here before we throw our grenades, so they all land in him. So that way we get a better damage burst out of them. Watch out for the missiles. Starting off with missiles twice in a row seems like pretty bad luck, but I'll see if maybe we can get a better start now. Whoop, shouldn't have run into that. Alright, so we got a good amount of ammo left. We got some lasers coming in, but we should be able to avoid them pretty safely here. Now he's gonna fire some more missiles in our direction, but we can lob some grenades while he's up on the platform pretty easily. Whoop. Alright, so come in and out and in. And missed that one. At least we got a couple of them dodged. That's the important thing. Dodge over here and fire some more lasers. Unfortunately, it's more rockets again. The rockets are definitely the thing I have the hardest time avoiding. We're already low on health again. Yeah, the rockets give me a hard time. So if he does more cycles of rockets, it's going to be harder for us to get through it. Because I'm not as good at avoiding them. But we got them pretty far down that time. Let's get back in here and see how it goes. All we have to do is get a consistent pattern for the rockets. And it should be pretty doable. But it's easier said than done. Let's get in here. Hopefully he doesn't fire rockets immediately. He does fire rockets immediately. Ow. I think it's got something to do with waiting until the last possible second before you jump with these. Like that. Unfortunately, we still took hits there, but uh, hopefully less hits than we otherwise might have taken. Okay, he's up on the high wall again. Lob some grenades up there at him. Oop, shouldn't have walked into that laser, though. That was definitely not a wise move. Avoid the grenades he tosses down at us, chuck grenades back up at him, and hopefully avoid the rockets. There we go, we're doing much better this time. Shouldn't have wasted that grenade though, mind you. Here comes more rockets. Ow. It's stuck to the wall there. That did not go at all as planned, and we're already going to die again. Don't do that, Vanguard. Don't die. That's not how we make progress. And I'm dead. Well, that's fine. We're getting to a consistent point now, which is good. So all I have to do is smooth out those rockets a little bit. And we should be able to get through here without too much more difficulty. Alright, so let's lob the rockets in there. Or the grenades, rather. That was a bad series of shots. That's going to hurt us. That's going to make this run basically impossible, I think. Especially since we've already taken a ton of rocket damage. Just an absolute mountain of it. Yeah, this is not a good run. We'll stick around and see if we can maybe sort out this rocket pattern a little bit smoother. But it's not looking good to start with. I'm a little bit too slow sometimes with avoiding those lasers, which is silly because they're really well marked, and I don't know why I keep getting hit by them anyway. Well, we dodged most of those, which is good. It's progress anyway. I noticed that if we dodge back and forth here, it's a lot easier to avoid these missiles. One of them still hit us, but apart from that, we did a pretty good job of dodging them, I thought. Ooh. Alright, well, we didn't do much damage to him that time because our grenades weren't very well placed. But if we can get our grenades to land a little bit better on him, we should be in a pretty good spot here. So let's get in here again. Alright, lob the rockets. Now we start with grenades, which is interesting, given that he hasn't done that several times in a row now. Seems that the patterns are pretty consistent, but the way he goes through them... Oh, come on, walk right back into that thing. The order in which they start them seems pretty random. Alright, here comes the rocket, so we dodge in, and out, and in, and out, and in. There we go, that's what we're talking about. That's some serious dodging. Not sure how well it's going to work on these missiles, but... Ow, it worked really well on the other ones. So that's something, at the very least. Whoop, gotta avoid death here, game. That's what we're trying to do, we're trying to not die. So we can win this thing. There's some more damage. Getting a bit close to death again. Right now, all we have to do is avoid these projectiles, and here's the rockets. Alright. We figured out this stage, so that's good. All we have to do is not die now, 
Except it's the uh, horizontal rockets, which are definitely the bane of my existence. Whoop. We got them, though. That's the good thing. Whoop. And we're dead. Okay, we're getting much better at this. We're getting much better at this. Eleven lives left. We have plenty of time to do this. Let's get in here again and actually clear this guy out of here. Quiet, you. Not interested in your shenanigans, Lauren. Alright, so in and out. And in and out. And in and We got hit that time. But it seems to work pretty well most of the time if I can get my timing right. I didn't fire my grenades to start off, though. Just bad practice. This is not a good run because of that. We just got hit a bunch of times for no good reason there. So that is unfortunate. It's going to make this a lot harder. Whoop. We'll see what we can do, but I think the odds of us getting a nice clean run this time are a little bit slimmer now. Dodge that. Hang on, did he shoot the floor? I don't know. Looked like it. He's come down to our level again, hop over, chuck the grenades at him. Except that one didn't go very far at all. It seems like the, the distance the grenades throw is very much inconsistent, and I'm confused by that. Alright. We got a pretty good pattern going this time, even though we got a bunch of early, very low damage shots. Now we're super low in health, so we're probably dead, but that's okay. We messed up the start of this fight. He'd be even lower if we had done it properly. And, oh, wow, we survived with one health there. Let's see how long we can go on one health. More rockets. Probably not much longer than this, then. Up and down. There we go. Uh-oh, don't die now. Don't die now. And grenades up. Oh, got us the laser, but we killed him. Ah! <laughs> if only he didn't back up into that laser. We got the, the achievement for beating him, but we didn't actually get to continue on because he died after we did. Oh, that hurts. All right, let's blow this guy up. Whoop. There's some good damage, at least. And we're figuring him out. Ow. That was a bad timing. Alright. Whoops! Don't get hit by everything, please, Rex Rocket. We need to make it through this today. Alright, up on the ledge he goes, lob some grenades up at him. Try and avoid the lasers, I always walk straight into them. I'm really bad at dodging those lasers, even though like, they're the easiest marked thing he does. Whoa, that rocket got really fast all of a sudden. Alright, well we're probably gonna lose this time, but we're gonna keep trying and see what we can get done before we do. Oop, that was a bad mistake. Well, we're down to very low health. But we're not dead yet, which is the important thing. Rockets or grenades coming in, and we're dead. That's okay, though. We messed that one up a couple times. We've got plenty more tries. Let's get back in there and do this again. Okay, it's all about very precise grenade throws, I think. Because that's what really makes the difference on him being... ...taking a lot more damage in the early game. If you don't get those well-placed grenade throws, whoop, I gotta stop backing up into those lasers. And he's a lot harder to hurt. Nope, that was a bad grenade toss as well. Didn't actually throw it up for some reason. Alright, here comes the rockets. These are pretty easy to avoid now. We've figured out the pattern. Shoot at him as he drops down, shoot him as he runs past, throw a grenade at him. Over and under. There we go, we got it. We got this on lockdown now, I think. That's the important thing. Here he goes up again. Lob some grenades up at him. Looks like good damage to me. He's getting close to defeat. Oh, he shot an extra laser that time. Well, I wasn't expecting that. We haven't hardly taken any damage this battle, though, so let's see if we can keep it that way. Out of here, Commando Bot. Alright, he's only got a tiny bit of health left. We can tank a little bit of damage. There we go. Commando Bot goes down, no problem. Fantastic. What's this? That's the blue ID card. Very nice. We got the key card blue. Sweet! Alright, let's keep moving. Not too bad once we figured out the pattern there. And, ah, we got the elevator here. A lowly, fluid, filled creature such as yourself defeated my lethal commando bot. You know what? I'm not even mad. Very, very annoyed, but not mad. How do you, water sex, say it? Ain't no thing. So enjoy your little reunion with your friends while you can, Rex Rocket. It just so happens I may actually want to blow up this dumb ship. Even if it means destroying all these precious Terra Ooslings. 
Before the commando bot was destroyed, I downloaded the ship's self-destruct codes. Ma ha 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 Alright. So, she has the self-destruct codes, let's go up the elevator. I'm guessing this takes us to the purple panel we saw up above earlier, which will probably be very convenient. I don't know where this goes on the other side, though, so let's go see what's over... Oop, no, hang on. Before we do anything else, we hit the, the uh, pad here so we can revive ourselves. Let's go see what's over this way, though. This takes us into the vents again. Have we been in here before? Not on this position. Alright, let's explore through here a little bit and see what we can actually find in here. And this is a dead end. I think we have actually been in here. Yeah, I think we definitely have. We came up here earlier and discovered you couldn't actually do anything with it. Maybe we can do something now below, though. Let's drop down here and see what's down the right-hand side. Maybe it connects to something we haven't seen before. No, we've been here before, totally. Oh, I see. I'm looking at the wrong part of the map. The yellow section is where we want to go, of course. Right. That explains my confusion. Green is where we are. We can't go through here, I'm assuming, still. Yep, nope. So let's get back out of here then and move on to the actual correct place to be so we can meet up with our friends again and maybe acquire some new lovely things. Whoops. Who knows, though? Let's get over there and find out. Let's uh, charge up a boost jump here so we can get up a little bit easier. There we go. Watch out for the uh, masses of Terra Oozlings on that upper level. Very nice. This might be a bit of a problem to get out of now. Actually, I actually think we can fire straight up here and it'll bounce. It does. Very nice. Alright, that's a convenient little shortcut there. Oop, oh, didn't mean to do it like that. That's more of what I wanted to do, but still not quite what I wanted to do. Whatever, we'll shoot these guys as they come up. What I was trying to do was something more like this, except lobbing the grenades into the center of the pack instead of on the edges, but whatever. It doesn't really matter exactly how we manage it. Point is, aliens get dead, and we get out of there. There we go. I know what you're wondering. How'd we get out? Well, it's a great story. You see, I had this paperclip. Tyler, don't bore him with the details of our miraculous escape. Just before I got caught by the commando bot, I received a high-level distress message. But it was too distorted to make out. I tried to clear it up, but Lord is using a comm jammer located in waste disposal to corrupt the message. That's not too hard from here, Rex. You'll need to head there and destroy it. In the meantime, Tyler and I will head up to the tech room. Be careful, Rex. It wouldn't be the first trap that Lauren set for us. Head right and go through the blue keycard door. Here. I also managed to fix up one of the jetpacks. Ah. We have a jetpack now. Ah. Double jump. So now we have triple jumps. Quadruple jumps. Oh, that's going to be a nightmare. <laughs> That's a whole lot of jumping we can do now. We got ourselves a jetpack, though, so that's cool. Let's go through the blue door and see what else we can find. Well, this looks like a place to test out your... Oh, you know what? I bet the jetpack is what we needed to go up that other area. Since it had those nasty... Whoa, hello, I didn't even notice those were all traps. Since it had all those nasty close-together spikes, I bet you with the jetpack you can get up there no problem. Hey, health expansion. I'll take that. Those look like conveyor belts, too, which is interesting. Oh, they are. That's cool. You can ride them up. That's pretty cool. Huh. So you jump across to there. Oh, boy. We're dead. <laughs> that's interesting, though. The, the, they're adding new mechanics all the time, and that's pretty cool. Might not always be a fan of some of the nasty platforming sections, but some of the stuff this game does is pretty neat. Alright, let's get across here in the next cycle of this here giant laser orb. There's one, and we're dead. Just the wrong timing on the jump there. That's okay, though. We've got plenty of time to get back around here. Jetpack. Oh, and we got smushed. Probably should just take the lower lower area. It's definitely safer. I'm running a little bit low on lives, but that's fine. If we have to go back, I'm probably going to actually go back and explore some of the previously visited areas so that we can see if we've missed any secrets. Ow. That was mean. See if we've missed any secrets hidden away in them. Because I'm guessing there's a good number of passages we've missed since we didn't find any up until now. So, we'll probably go back there and see what treasure we can acquire. That was really lucky. See what kind of treasure we can acquire. Alright, we're back up here now. We gotta watch out for this laser coming in. Can't duck. Whoop, we can jump though. Looks like it doesn't actually matter if we take the upper path since we can just 
force our way up there anyway. It doesn't matter, though. Let's blast our way through these guys and see what's up here. So we know we have grenades. Oop. That should have killed all of them. Yes, it did. It looks like there's stuff going on down here, though. That's open, which is interesting. Oh, that's not what we wanted to do. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Run. Run. Thankfully, the explosives did their job well. But, ouch. So we do this. Nope, that missed up. Oop. Alright, I was trying to do is take a shot backwards at the purple blocker from here, which seemingly is out of range when you're over there. That's weird. That's very weird. Alright, let's just throw a grenade up there, then. That'll do it. Strange, but it'll do it. Okay, from here we can blast our way through these walls. Not sure why exactly we want to, though. Is there anything in here? <clears throat> Doesn't seem to be. Just some enemies stuck in the wall. Weird. Well, let's get ready for a triple jump. Oop, that didn't work. Get ready for a triple jump. There we go. There's a data node up in the corner there, so let's go grab that. For the blue tank. Designed to launch explosive shells that send scorching energy in almost every direction, Rex brings them along on missions in case of alien invasions, space pirate attacks, or when they run into a bumper tank tournament. Ooh, hello. Lots of secrets everywhere, holy cow. I'm finding them all over the place now that I'm... now that I found one. Can I shoot across here to actually activate this thing, or do I have to go up to the other wall? Looks like I have to go to the other wall and shoot down. Yep, there we go, we got it. Okay, so now we shoot this way, and go up. That's cool, I like this area. I do very much appreciate this area. Pop goes the bunker. Whoop! Didn't quite make it into the next bunker. We're very low on health, though. We gotta be careful around here. Alright, that should have taken out that bunker. There we go. Very much low on health, though. That is definitely a problem. Alright, let's get down here. Fire some shots. Don't like that. Okay. There's a big tank. Hello, blue tank. Blow up whatever's in there. There we go. Got just about all of them. Charge up a charge shot to take out this turret again. Oop, missed him. There we go. Got him anyway. That works. Whoop, that's not what I wanted to do, though. Whoop, we're very low on health now. Oh, boy. Alright, blow him up with the grenades quickly. Oop. We're so low on health. Oh, good. An army of robots. Thankfully, they're not super strong. There's a lot of them, though. Okay. Okay, this is not cool. Let's blow up the robots. We have two chips of health left. Can we do anything to these things? Oh, not very quickly, anyway. Back in. They're spawning more. Can we kill one of them? Yes. Whoops. Stay away from the little guys. We're out of super weapon charge. We've used back to our regular gun, which works just fine against them. Okay, I think we got this on a solid lockdown now. These guys should go down pretty easy. Get out of here, robots. Okay, good. Oh, there is an extra life up there, so let's get over and get that with a double jump, boost jump, double jump combo. Very nice. And gets us an extra life. This place does look pretty nasty, though. Especially because there's all these blind areas we have no idea what's going on in. Whew, that was effective. Don't kill me. Thank you. Oh, come on, game. That's just me. How am I supposed to know there's a pit of acid down there? Alright. Let's take these guys out quickly. Ow! The totem poles don't seem to actually damage you until you destroy a layer of them. There we go. Oh, beam bots, that's mean. Alright. Now we gotta ride this guy up, it looks like. Whoop. Destroy the beam bot if we can. There we go. Okay, we made it up. There must be ow. Some blue levers up here. There we go. Blew all that stuff up. Let's activate this. We should turn off the blue walls. Whew, that was nasty. Okay, now we should be able to get down here safely. If my jumps don't suck. There we go. We made it through. Checkpoint get. What else do we see around here? Hmm. Not a whole lot. I'm expecting death to be imminent here. Oop. It 
kind of was, but thankfully we were able to get through without too much trouble. Burp. Oh, careful, careful. Don't see anything over here. What's this way? This looks like a treasure room. I'm not sure if it is, though. I just see loot in here. Oh, ah, okay. Interesting. And again, hmm. Interesting. This definitely does seem to be a treasure room, though. With a CD in it and a bunch of other upgrades. Oh, I can't quite get that that way. Gotta go up the other side, I think. There we go. Come on. Come on, game. Let me get up on this panel. There we go. Grab the ammo expansion. More firepower. That's an achievement now, which is lovely. And we should be able to get ourselves down there nice and easy, too. Cool. All right, that gets us a health, a health expansion. We can go back on track. Good stuff. Now, this looks a bit nasty, so let's get ready for a jump, double jump, and up here before it kills us. Cool. Got another health expansion. That's always nice. Whoop. Wanted to jump there and shoot downwards, but it didn't quite happen that way. Get out of here, bats. All right, now where am I going? Down to there. Whew. Blast that guy out. Okay. There's a wall there, so we're going to have to go up the sides here. Nothing treacherous about this at all. Uh-oh. Oh, dead. <laughs> okay, okay. We might be running out of lives soon. We'll see how we can do this. Alrighty. Across this way we go. Thankfully, these areas do open up shortcuts once you've been through them from the looks of it. Uh oh, didn't charge up a laser. Ah, we're dead. That was a silly mistake. Gotta have that laser charged, otherwise you can't make that jump. Don't have quite enough. Boom. Maybe if I was using the uh, down shot... Oops. <laughs> Shouldn't be trying to uh, demonstrate while jumping. I was saying if we dread the charge shot from that, while we're doing the double jumps, I bet you we get a lot more oomph out of them. Oh, wow. I should be double jumping here. What am I doing? Making life way harder for myself than it needs to be. We're about to get reset as well, which would suck. Oop. Just double jump and you get way more altitude out of all these jumps. Whee! And whoop, that's not what I meant to do at all. Hang out over here, jump, jump, boost, and didn't shoot. Whoops. Gotta be shooting after the boost jump, otherwise you don't get enough altitude anyway. That's what I'm talking about. That kind of jumping is what we need. So many combined controls, though. Jumping with shooting and charge jumping and shooting after charge jumping and all kinds of things. I guess I should probably just stop on the ladder, though. That makes it a lot easier. And then from here, we can reposition and go back on further. Pop! There we go. And now we drop down to here and drop off the ledge with a jump. Perfect. So I think all we have to do here is be very careful not to miss our jumps. If we go carefully, highest jump each time, we should be able to make it up no problem, just like that. Perfect. Drop a grenade on that, poor soul. There we go. And again, up on this side. Same deal. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, gotta have a charge jump ready then. So up on each side. There we go. Now we got ourselves a little boost. And an ammo expansion. Very nice. Oh, that actually locks it there. That's kind of interesting. So if I want to go back and get that data cell, I have to go... Ow! Snake it, bats. I have to go all the way around here. Woo! Ouch. Well, I guess that solves that problem, so now I'm back here anyway. This is my last life, though. I was hoping to get a little bit further and maybe get lucky and find myself a lovely checkpoint, but it doesn't look like that's going to be happening anytime soon. Let's go down here. But, ah, we're dead. I was hoping to double jump there, but it just didn't quite register before we hit the spikes. All right. So we're back here in the revitalization chamber. That's fine. What I'm thinking I'm going to do now, though, is explore that upper area where we I think we needed the uh, the double jumps to be able to get up there. Because there's definitely something up here. I want to find out what it is. I don't know if we are geared up enough to get it now, but we have enough to easily jump up there now. Well, at least more easily jump up there now. There we go. Let's see if we have what it takes to get through here. Because it looks like 
double jumps might have been perfect, because that would give us the extra altitude and more control over our movement. I don't know, though. It looks like it's still uh, insufficient for our needs. You have to go jump, 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 and you have to be very careful not to hit those spikes. I think it should be possible with this, though, so we'll try it a couple times. If we have to waste a couple continues, well, that's no big deal. Ow. I think we have to make that jump a little couple seconds after so we get a good chance to reset our jump position on the wall because here we're very low. We have to be able to jump across and back quickly so we don't sink down too far. I don't know for sure, but it seems to me like this is a pretty tricky segment. And maybe we're still missing stuff? The problem is I don't know what is in this game to help you do the platforming. So if there is fancy things, we know there's boots that we failed to get, but I don't know what else there might be. Oh, we almost made it up to a new area. Looks like it is possible. Let's experiment a little bit more. On the plus side, this is super close to the vacuum tubes. So if there is something cool hidden up here, we should be able to get it without too much trouble. Oh, goodness. Okay. Hmm. That's interesting. That's a big wall of spikes. So let's charge up a laser and try that again. It looks like going quickly is the trick here. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, we don't have a laser. And we're dead. That could have been good if I charged up a second shot. Alright, we're getting there. We're getting there. This is interesting. There's something mysterious hidden up here that we can reach now that we have our jetpack. And we went too fast that time, apparently. Okay, that's good to know that you can actually go too fast. Down it goes, and up we go. Looks like we're actually pretty safe in our window of opportunity here. Whoop, that was a bad move, though. Should have probably jumped a bit quicker there. It's definitely possible, though, and I'm interested to see what's up at the top. So let's boogie our way back up there with our... Lovely rocket powers. Interestingly enough, I'm not sure if we actually need the laser there as much as we need careful positioning on the wall. But we'll see how it goes as we get up, uh, get up higher, rather. Because that's where we need that. And now we just need to go up again like this. Oh boy, okay. That corner is pretty nasty. Good to know, though. We've made it a little bit further than last time. Saw some things I didn't notice before. That's basically what we're looking to do here. Discover strange new adventures. Ow! Oh, we made it further, but I got stuck on the corner again. Alright. Seven lives left to try and get up this thing in 21 tries. Well, I guess eight tries left, because it is 21 tries. Oops. That's the wrong button to jump again. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're making progress. I like this. This is interesting. We can do this. It's tricky, but it is doable. We just have to get the right rhythm. Whoops, that's not the right rhythm at all. That's too high up there. Oh, man. That, that, that top corner is pretty sneaky. It's definitely an interesting looking area, though, so I'm excited to see what it's hiding. And we went a little bit too fast there. All right, well, this is uh, this is one of those things that's very much reminiscent of the uh, Veni Vidi Vici areas in V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V because it's very easy to get yourself stuck in a pattern where you're not quite getting it anymore, but you're getting a little bit further every time until you can eventually do it. So we'll we'll try it a couple more times here on camera, and then I might just. See how it goes from there, but I'd like to do it on camera, if at all possible. Oh, need a little bit more boost there. A little bit of C jumping might actually help us make that one a little bit easier. Let's see how this goes. Up we go. Carefully up the wall we go. And we jumped into the spikes. That's not how we're supposed to do it. Almost out of lives, that's fine. We got plenty more where those came from. Plenty more where those came from. Last life for now, before we get respawned basically right here. So that's no big loss. And there we are. Ooh. There we are. And we're dead again. That four spike wall is the problem. I think I actually have to have a laser charged up to make it past there, not past earlier. Hmm. 
Well, we'll try it a little bit more this episode. This is going to be a little bit of a long one because I'm experimenting here. Actually, you know, this is a super long one because I added it on the other episode. You know what? Whatever. We'll do one more set of lives, try again up this ramp, and then we're going to end the episode for today. Since this one's pretty long, but I don't know actually where I decided to cut the previous one because I wasn't super happy with how it was going. So for all I know, it never actually showed very much of it at all. Probably we stopped close to the boss fight. But uh, still, this is a bit of a long... Bit of a long one. Alright, that worked out pretty well. Oh, no. I need to be able to land there. If I can get my timing a little bit smoother so I can land on that set of spikes, we should be able to make it up the rest of the way no problem, as long as I still have this charge jump ready to go. Because now I can go like that, which is what we want. Yeah, no. I have to be a little bit slower on the second ramp, otherwise it's a little bit harder and I can't quite get the timing right. So we go from here. My timing is definitely off on this one. Yeah. Started at the wrong cycle on the spikes. That was my own fault there. That's fine, though. We can try again. Plenty of time to try again. As they go in, we go up. And there we go. I gotta go a little bit slower on this wall, but I still have to be able to make it up there is the problem. Come on, Rex Rocket, you can do it. I have no idea what this room holds. You should know, because this is your ship and all, but I have no idea. Ah, again, a little bit too fast. I don't know if we can actually do it that way. I think we are going to have to use a charge jump there, but that makes the next part a little bit harder, so I'm not quite sure how this works then. At least not with our original timing for this area. Hmm. It's possible to do it another way, too, if we use the uh, first boost jump to bypass oh, the upper area here, but it's certainly a conundrum. We got 14 more tries before we give up for this episode, and I might uh, try a couple times off camera before we come back. Almost made it that time. That was pretty good looking, except that we didn't have quite the altitude we needed there. I don't think the... Uh, well, maybe it'll help. The machine gun jumping does give you a decent bit of extra longevity to your jumps. I don't know, though. We'll get up here and take another look. Ooh, that was close, and we jumped straight up there somehow. I'm not quite sure what happened there. One of them was a double jump, but not all of them were. That was strange. We jumped off the wall, but went straight up instead. And not quite enough oomph that time either. That's fine. That's fine. Plenty more where that came from. There are a bunch of four spike walls in here though, so I think it might just be that the way we're doing it, we're not quite getting the momentum right because we're uh, we're losing our position on the wall. That was silly. Almost done with this attempt. Sorry if you guys are not super into this, but I think it's pretty ominous, and we do have what looks like everything we need to be able to find out what it's hiding. And that's pretty interesting to me, at least. I want to be able to land on that ledge, though, but those, those floor spikes are evil. Up we go. Up we go. There we go. This might change our timing a bit. There, it's something. Oh ho! Ho ho! That was definitely not how that was supposed to go, but we made it! Oh, I have no idea what's up here, but we made it! Oh no. There's still no checkpoint here. Oh, this is scary. Okay, what's this all about then? And there's enemies in here. Good to know. Okay. Lots of enemies in here, probably spawning from somewhere in this part of the stage. I can't quite hit him. Get back here, you. There we go. That's one less robot. Oh, we're slipping off the platform there. That's crazy. Oh! Oh, just... No, 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 no! Okay. Okay. Robots, get out of me. Get out of me. Not interested in this. Okay. Okay. Oh, and we're dead. All the way back down to the bottom. 
That was definitely interesting, but I have no idea if this is just a massive gauntlet or what it is. I have no idea what we're getting into here. This might be way too much for us. We had to use grenades, we've had to use the boots, there might be even more things we have to be able to use to get all the way through it. No, it suck. Especially if there's no way to get checkpoints other than the very beginning here. I don't know what this is all about, but it's certainly pretty crazy. And we died for no good reason there. That was my own fault. We have five more tries to get back up there and see what mysteries await us. That was definitely pretty crazy, though. Oh, we're so close to death! There we go, it, it happened. Not too low on the wall, you can't lose your position, otherwise you're going to die. That was a pretty lucky chance that we even made it up there last time, because the, uh... The chances of our failure were pretty astronomically high there. Only three tries left, and after that I'm going to give up on this area for now. If it's apparently a lot bigger than I thought it was, we might come back here later, once we've got a better handle on this whole state of affairs. No, that was dumb! I had it, but if I, since I shot, I lost it. I don't think I need to actually have a charged shot at all, I just have to have good timing. The charged shot does allow you to save yourself, but it also makes it a lot easier to destroy yourself Ooh. In situations like that. Alright, we made it back up again. Sweet. Okay. Okay. This place is scary. Whoop. There we go. Got one of them. There are a lot of robots in here, though. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. That was stupid. Jumped at completely the wrong time there. One last life to try for this episode. This is going to be a long one, but whatever. Whatever. Let's just get up here. Timing is wrong, but you know what? Don't even bother me. There. Oh, dead. Never mind. All right. Well, we'll come back here maybe some other time, because it looks like it's a lot longer than I thought it was. But... Thanks for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor. Playing some more Rex Rocket for you today. Getting back into the groove of things. Having a bit have a better time than we were previously, and that's always nice to see. So, thank you again for watching, but this is it. Until next time, bye bye segment again. So we're just going to keep moving and hopefully not get murdered here, because otherwise, I'll be very... Oh, and we bounced off that guy to our death. Cool. But to say, a very unhappy camper, but we're dead anyway, so whatever. Maybe we should just press forward and hopefully find a uh, Rebuildatron. You can lock them in place, so that's handy. Not what we're trying to do, though. I kind of want to come up here, so we can see if we can find anything, but I'm not sure if we actually can from that position. I think we have to let him rise up then lock him into a raised position. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to get high enough. And this guy's going to shoot us into the wall here, isn't he? Alright, so... Raise up. And now we lock him into position. Oh, that guy got a bit higher than I would have liked. We made it up to him, that's the important thing. And up we go. Keep him in place. Ah, just missed that one. I want to try and get up to the top here, just in case there's another exit we miss, which has anything good in it. It looks like it's actually just... Oh, we're going down. We're dead. Looks like it's just that doorway, though, so there's nothing interesting up there. No, there is a doorway at the very top. Cool. That makes me extra annoyed that I just died inches from the very top. Alright, let's get all the way back up there then and see if we can maybe not die this time, because that would be cool. And got hit by the platform we're standing on, so I wasn't paying attention to it. In case you couldn't tell, I'm getting a bit mad at this game, and I should probably stop playing it now. The, uh, the ways in which it likes to toy with you are quite infuriating. So we'll stop that from moving, make our way up here, get him to go up, freeze him again, keep working our way up this hill. Okay. Now there's a robot coming from above, which means I have to be very careful, otherwise the one I'm standing on is going to kill me. There we go, freeze him again. And we go up. Freeze it. 
Get back down here. I need to climb on you. There we go. Up we go. Freeze him again. Come on over here. Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of Rex Rocket. So, you may notice that my lives are not the same as they were last time we were here. That's because I tried this next section again and lost all of my lives again, so we're going to try it again on camera now, since I didn't bother keeping the last video because it was 10 minutes of me failing a section over and over again. And uh, since I made it back here again, let's try again with the 15 lives we have now, including the 0-0 life. So... Can we make it through this most fiendish of platforming sections? Who knows? I really don't like that it's time, uh, not time limited. The salt is real right now. I'm definitely very much not having fun with this part of the game. I like most of it, but this is not okay. Even the boss levels are the kind of difficulty that I can get behind. Because at least they are difficult in a way that punishes your own mistakes, but it's like you could have learned the patterns better, you could have done something about it to make yourself not be so bad at it. Whereas this is literally just, you come across something you haven't discovered before, and because you don't know what it is, it kills you when you get to it because you don't know how to deal with it. And it's a timed section, so it's not like they can even blame you for rushing when you shouldn't have. Now this, oh, you're so close! That was almost a success there in our first try, which would have been really nice. Let's try this again and see if we can get through this thing sometime today. So, let's see if we can get through here. I'm definitely, definitely getting frustrated with this section of the game. This is going to be my last time trying it today. Otherwise, I will be leaving this game alone for a bit and then coming back later. Because as much as I enjoy the exploration and the finding of interesting things, this irritatingly designed rush segment through insta-death platforming is not my cup of tea. Cool, we froze him again. Keep going up. One of these days we'll get to the tippy top here. I don't see a doorway up there. That makes me very uncomfortable. That might just be a uh, hidden passage that we haven't found yet. So let's work our way up there again and see if we can actually find it. Because the game told me there was something up there. Is there? There is. There's a secret passage here, which has a health expansion in it, so that's cool. It also has what looks like a whole lot of death. I don't know if I could even go down there. I don't know if we can stand on that. Oop. Oh, I see. That's what we have to do. Spam a whole bunch of bullets all the way around. There we go. That's cool. Alright, so let's activate this. We got ourselves a health expansion. That was pretty neat. Let's make sure we don't get instantly toasted to death by this thing. So that's also interesting, because that was definitely a secret room, but it showed up as having a doorway on the map. So those secret panels seem to have a very inconsistent representation in the game. Sometimes they show up, and that's a spike there, oops. And sometimes they don't. Now we have it though, so we should be able to just go across. So, let's work our way across this way, into this new tunnel we're supposed to go into, because I don't think we're supposed to go to that shoes place yet. What is this all about, though? Ah, this is the official introduction of these moving panels. Interestingly enough, it seemed to blow them up from below, which doesn't make much sense. I don't know what happened there. If we throw a grenade down there, is it going to kill that one now? Didn't seem to. Alright, not sure quite what's going on here, but let's keep going without getting killed by these laser bots. There. So, let's go a little bit further here and see what's up. See if we can actually make it through here sometime today. Because that would be really nice if we could. Let's see if the game's going to let us. Oh, almost killed us there for no good reason. Let's see if we can charge up a shot to make it across there. Charge up another one to make it across here. And another one to make it across here. And another one to make it into here. Alright, we made it past that section. That's good. Okay. Well, that's good. Because I've wasted probably 30 lives trying to get through there today. So I'm glad that that's over with. That was pretty infuriating. Let's get down here and kill some robots and some bats. And see if we can maybe get through the rest of this today. Looks like we want to go up on that side. But let's come across here first. Kill some more bats. 
I want to go over to that right-hand side and see if there's anything up there. I'm guessing there is. Yeah, there's a door over there. So let's get down over there in a second and see what's over there. But first, I'm going to grab this, and that, and back up. Cannonbots! Shoots heavy spherical projectiles at a target in an arc path. Used by smaller ships to break apart space debris, blocking routes, and for playing games of asteroid bowling. Alright, whatever. Let's get our way across here and see what's hiding in this room. Oh, this looks friendly. On the plus side, we know we can destroy this guy, so we don't have to worry too much about him. Whoop! Does this go anywhere? It does. It goes to the other side. This doesn't look very friendly, though. Whoop! Nope, nope, not friendly at all. You know what? I'm not gonna try and go this way. This just looks like a way to die repeatedly, so let's come back over here and see... Come on, game! Let's come back over here and see if there's maybe a way that we can actually get through here more successfully. Tank our way through there nicely. There we go. What's on this side? This looks a little bit more doable. These guys look nasty, but they're not invincible like I thought they were, which makes it a lot more reasonable. They are pretty tough, though. Okay. Blast our way past these defenses. Are they getting spawned from somewhere? It seems as though they are. Since there's a heck of a lot of them. Let's make our way over there, though, and see what we can actually find out about that. What are you doing in the wall there? Well, thanks for telling me it was a secret game. Otherwise, I would not have known. Alright, we got ourselves a health expansion from inside that secret wall. Now we've actually started to find some of these. It's kind of nice. Because the game told me and kept telling me about them, but I couldn't find any. We might go back later and go back to some of the earlier areas and see if we can find them. Now, this looks like it should connect to something we should know about, because it has that one-way doorway, but I don't know if it does. Wait till he drops down a little bit, and then blast him. And we gotta have to... Oop! Die. Oh, we just did not die there by a tiny margin. Alright, we can go into the vents here, it looks like. No, this is where we're supposed to go. Alright, so let's not go that way. Although we should activate this uh, Rebuildatron, otherwise we're gonna suffer some fairly unpleasant consequences, I suspect. Let's come over this way first. What's in this side? Another one-way door we can't get through, which has boots. That looks really nice. Alright, if there's a, some kind of super jump ability, I want it so bad. Let's get down here and see what's in this area. Oh, good. Imminent death is in this area. And we just plummet right into the acid. How on earth are you supposed to get across there? Maybe with the boots? I don't know. This definitely doesn't look like something we're supposed to be dealing with right now, though, because... It's got a whole lot of... Like, I'm not sure how you're supposed to travel across this part. And we're dead again. Like, how do you, how do you move that bottom uh, platform across? I don't even think you can. I'm afraid of losing all my lives now and having to do that stinking laser run.